Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Cameron Sinclair. I'm a YGL from 2008. And I'm Dan Shine, and I'm YGL from 2007. And uh, unfortunately, we can't be in Tanzania today with you guys. Um, we're currently uh, in Port-au-Prince, and we've been in Haiti for a while. And we're focusing our work, um, and a lot of YGLs are focusing their work on helping uh, rebuild the education system here in Haiti after the terrible earthquake. As we're here several months later, we're beginning to see things return to some state of normalization, but there's still a huge amount to be done. Uh, we're at uh, San Luis de Gonave, uh, a junior in high school here in Port-au-Prince. Uh, it suffered extensive damage. Um, they have over 1,200 students. Um, their entire campus turned into a refugee camp. Well, this is a classroom. Well, it was a classroom. And, uh, so not much learning going on, but a lot of playing. What we know of is there's 22 classrooms that are repairable. Seven are completely down. The infirmary is gone. The library is gone. The technology center is gone. So there's very specific needs here. You begin to see refugee camp, literally thousands of people that have taken over any grassland that's on this campus. So not only is the school dealt with trying to get back on its feet, it has to relocate all these people. And what we have to do is get them in transitional shelters before hurricane season. Because if a hurricane hits here, this is all going to be wiped out. So uh, there's an urgent need for the school to get back, and there's also an urgent need to get families back into houses. I think what's amazing here is that uh, only 20% of the population before the earthquake had, even had electricity. So this is an uh, environment that uh, as recently as 2008 only had 11% connectivity to the internet. Digital inclusion for education and healthcare is more important than ever, especially in an environment where so many teachers have died that, uh, that independent learning and long distance learning is going to become an essential part of how people educate themselves and their children as we move forward. The earthquake didn't create poverty, it, it impacted it and expanded it. And, you know, we have an opportunity to collaborate and work with Haitian NGOs. More than half my staff uh, are from Haiti. They were born here, raised here, educated. Um, some have come back. Uh, and it's really about bringing all these groups together to rebuild this country. I say, Bafot Met Bolo. I say, Bafot Met Move. I think uh, in closing, it's going to take a long time, but there's also a sense of urgency. So operating with that sense of urgency with that long-term goal together is really what's going to make a difference.